Okay, today we're going to have a look at um, a three frequency dome but with a bit of a difference. Yep, a commenter on one of my other YouTube videos uh, mentioned doing trust domes. Um, and it's a way of getting, um, a rather neat way actually, of getting a double thickness layer of, of trusses on a geodesic dome. There's two ways of, of, of thinking about that really. You can either make a the framework for a whole three frequency dome like this uh, and then make another framework usually do the dual of that on the inside and then you connect them with uh, struts so you're connecting the two with struts but it adds up to a hell of a lot of struts this way um, what you do is you connect extra struts if you like from the center of a pentagon to the center of a hexagon so that's your three frequency. You've got hexagons and pentagons. So that would be your single frame. Now if I connect uh, a line from here to here, you won't see it because it's behind there. But what it's actively doing is making the structure thicker. And it's it's providing a brace between the center of here and the center of there. And it opens up a number of uh, possibilities for different designs. Uh, let me just... Um, get cracking and uh, I'll do a time lapse and I'll throw together a, a truss frame dome for you. Right, this is actually a really interesting structure. If we take a look here, let me just have a swing around. If we look uh, straight on, you can see that there's a straight line all the way around here. So we can make a half dome, but because it's trussed, it'll be much stiffer. Uh, now I had another commenter ask about making a half dome and then having a dome inside that that opened out so you could you could lift it back now this would be this would work for that because it you would have stiffness um, I don't think I can remove too many parts without breaking the whole thing let's have a look yeah well what the point is you can pull the frame apart and uh, because this is triangulated thickness to it, uh, it won't slump in. Because if this was a single frame, this whole front, if you did this, the whole front would slump in. This should It should have a, another one across here to tie in with all these triangles, uh, which I've deleted, uh, I've hidden. Um, but I think you get the picture that uh, you can build portions of a dome that will still be stiff. You can um, remove half of the dome. Uh, and it'll still be stiff so there's uh, uh, loads of um, possibilities with this style of construction for building uh, all the things that couldn't be built with a single skin uh, what i'll do is let me know in the in the comments uh, i will definitely be making a set of plans for this one i've just roughed the framework framework together to show you how it how it works uh, but i'll build a full set of plans um, with all the wanger flanges on it and all the measurements uh, again there's not that many different um, lengths one two three four four different uh, strut lengths in this and you get a really um, versatile structure uh, let me know down in the comments what you think and if there's anything else you want me to take a look at thanks for watching